Yeah, that's right, Deborah. The only person charged as an adult in this case is also facing similar charges from last year. He was actually scheduled to go to trial in a couple of weeks on those charges, but now he is facing a whole slew of new charges. It's a little shocking. It's a change for the neighborhood that I, I haven't been used to. Police in Howard County now arresting four teens accused of stealing 16 cars in Laurel, Elk Ridge and Hanover from February to July. There was really no rhyme or reason in these cases. The cars were being stolen sometimes to joyride and then left and abandoned somewhere. Sometimes they tried to sell them. Um, sometimes they used them to then go commit other crimes like steal additional cars or steal things out of other vehicles. Three 17 year olds are charged as juveniles. 19 year old Alexander Bennett is the only one charged as an adult with 15 counts of motor vehicle theft and 30 counts of felony theft. Our investigators received information that led them to one of the suspects. We were able to serve some search warrants and get some electronic evidence. And through that, we were able to see that there was communication among this group, which led us to the others and ultimately led to the arrests. Neighbors are relieved to hear police made these arrests, but disappointed teenagers are the suspects. Still, residents tell 11 News they've learned to be on guard. Don't leave your cell phone in the car. Don't leave any bags or anything that look like there's anything in there because they'll just break the window. Now we have a cycle. One year they break into them. They're still in different things. Another year they're just damaging them. And this year, you know, they're just pretty much taking them. Police say once they started investigating in July, these particular thefts stopped. But neighbors say this is a larger issue that has them concerned for young people in the community. We as a society have to find out what's going on with our children. Police were able to recover many of the cars that were stolen. They're working with police in other areas to determine whether this group is responsible for stealing other cars in other jurisdictions. Reporting live in Howard County, Kim Day, CWBAL, TV Live News.